the ancestors that came over on the Mayflower and ancestors that were already here. I love learning about them and sharing what I learned with you guys. We're too young to talk about forever, talk about the weather, to know any better. I just want to laugh until I can't breathe, midnight moonlight dancing, never get enough sleep. And welcome to another episode of Colonial Crafts. Today, we're going to be learning about a fun game that Colonial kids loved to play with. A whirly gig. I just love saying that. Whirly gig, whirly gig, whirly gig. For your whirly gig, you'll need some scissors, some string or twine, some cardboard, a pencil or some sharp pokey thing, and as an additional factor, markers. Native Americans started to design whirly gigs with clay or bone and a strip of hide since 500 BC. Wow. Children during the Great Depression made whirly gigs with a button and string, and now children can learn to make them during the time of COVID-19. Kids in colonial times didn't have electronic toys, or factories to make their toys for that matter. A lot of the children made toys from their parents' scraps. Yep, they made toys from trash. Today, we call that upcycling or recycling. Our ancestors were actually pretty smart. Colonial girls made their dolls from corn husks, like the previous video, rags, and sometimes carved apples as heads. Colonial boys would take large sticks and use them as imaginary horses. Recognize the modern version? Step one, gather your supplies. We kind of already did that, but I want to say again that we are using cardboard. If you don't want to use cardboard, anything really works. Just a large button, an ice cream lid, a raviolios lid, or if your mom's a canner, a canning lid. Also, if you want to go really old school, you could do it with salt dough or air dry Play-Doh. Step two. This step is mostly for those who are creating their circle out of cardboard. So we want to have a nice and clean circle, so just take anything that you have is circular and let's trace it. I'm going to go around it again to make it dark so I can really see that. Okay. And then we're going to take it and cut. Now we have our circle, we're going to move on to step three. Now we're going to create our holes in our circle. I'm going to take this so I have a little bit of a mark of where to put my holes. And then I'm gonna put it in and twist it through. Remember, when you're done with this, it should look like a button. Step four. This step is all about the string. So we're gonna take our string, measure, and cut. So, we want about three feet, or if you're British, a meter. So this looks like it's going to be enough. There we have, there we have our string. So now that we have our string, we're going to place it through the two holes that we have in our whirly gig. So I'm gonna just take the pencil and push it through. There we go. Thank you, handy pencil. So now we have a loop, a string on this side, and two ends on the other side. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and take our two ends and tie it in a knot. It's best to tie it in a double knot because when you're playing with it, you don't want your whirly gig to come out and poke somebody in the eye. 
because that would not be fun. So let's see if I can actually tie this properly. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I have my, if I can get that tight, my double knot. There we have our rug. <laughs> Now, as an additional factor, you can draw things on your whirly gig. An example would be to draw blue and yellow. And when you spin it, you'll get a green color. Or draw red and yellow. And when you'll spin it, you'll get an orange color. Once you have your whirly gig, the next step is to learn how to play with it. So take your whirly gig, oops, my string is already all spun up. You want to bring it out and spin it a while. Because the cardboard is lighter, it's going to take a little longer to spin. I'm getting a nice breeze from spinning it. And then pull in and out. Uh, Let's try this one more time. Yay! Oh. You know, I think I do better with the heavier whirly gig. Show off. Yay! Well, there you have it. Now you know how to make and play with a whirly gig. Looking for more crafts and things to do? Stay up to date with our YouTube channel or go to www.thisfamilyblog.com. See you real soon. Bye!